hi guys welcome back to my channel today is Thursday here um just came on this morning I decided to make breakfast this morning and I decided to share my breakfast with you um I couldn't show you because I had no one to videotape me making it so I just wanted to show you guys the end product it will be that way sometime um, for, for a little while until I can organize otherwise. Um, so today I'm using all local produce. Um, I'm using all the the thing we call in Grenada, we call it breadfruit. Um, it's used to, in making our national dish. It's really starchy, sweet savory at the same time some people use it in punch they use it in they use it to make punch they use it to make flour but flour they use it it has many properties um today i made it's like a breadfruit fritter i can see a savory pancake and i did some local saltfish cod codfish um those are cured in salt for a long while. I soaked, I boiled it, maybe about 10 minutes or so. It, it's based on your preference. If you like it to be a little bit salty or you like it to be less salt, less salty if you boil it longer. I have some tomatoes, some peppers, some onions, some cabbage, etc. that I diced. Um, and I use some oil hot of the pan and I use some oil to stir fry the saltfish then. It doesn't take long, it takes about five minutes or so. You can use any vegetable, any vegetable that you like to use and it's really, really del delicious. You can use tuna in a tin. You can use what any type of fish that you like that's maybe in tin or you can get it local. At you, wherever that you live that's <laughs> that's the thing and you can fry it up with the tomatoes the veggies etc the breadfruit now it may not be available all over the world but you can try to make the fruit I used egg a little bit of hot sauce dice I dice some peppers and I mix the egg I mash the breadfruit and I use the eggs the mashed breadfruit a bit of pepper maybe like a, a dash or maybe a half teaspoon of pepper, it depends. I like pepper, so I use that bit. Um, some salt, maybe a, a, I would say a teaspoon of salt, and because the salt already has salt. And I placed about a tablespoon or less of butter in a pan. I made it um, heat up a bit, and then I add the butter to the pan. And I pressed it down to make the shape. Though it's it's free form, it doesn't have to come out exactly round or whatever. How you want it, you do it. Um, so that's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. It's really delicious, really, really delicious. I'm gonna show you guys. The camera is kind of bad. I'm gonna show you guys. This is what it looks like. Okay. It's really really delicious so I'm gonna put the um, the recipe down below in the description box for those persons that would love to try it it's really nice it's really nice and delicious and I'm gonna try it I'm gonna take some of the sawfish and the pancake mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes you are just tired with the bread. For me, I don't like shop bread. I don't like buying bread in the supermarket. I like to bake my own bread. Um, but sometimes I don't feel for the bread. I feel for something else. So I will get creative and try to make something different. That's how why I tried this experiment with the breadfruit. 
and it's good to eat local you can use potato you can use um maybe a starchy vegetable that contains starch to make this 